Come take a journey with me inside the human body Who knows what we'll learn of our anatomy Here's a quick look about the systems we'll see In our voyage we will learn about biology I'm a cell, your body's made up of me There's more than 200 different types of cells in the human body Atoms and molecules are what created me Then I made all of the systems you're about to hear and see There's the nervous system, it has an important job too It sends signals from and to the brain for all that you do The circulatory system is where all your blood flows It carries oxygen and nutrients to where it should go The respiratory system is what you use to breathe it carries oxygen to all the cells that your body needs Come take a journey with me inside the human body Who knows what we'll learn of our anatomy Here's a quick look about the systems we'll see In our voyage we will learn about biology Your immune system fights off a lot of disease it detects when you're sick, then makes you feel healthy The digestive system takes all the food that you eat Then extracts the vitamins and nutrients that you need Your skeletal system is made up of bones Held together by connective tissue so they don't roam The muscular system has three types you see Skeletal, smooth, and cardiac make up the three Come take a journey with me inside the human body Who knows what we'll learn of our anatomy Here's a quick look about the systems we'll see In our voyage we will learn about biology Hello, I'm your skeleton, as you can plainly see Here's some of the 206 bones in the human body and As a baby, you start out with about 300 different bones That's a lot considering many views when you are grown 206 bones is what you have as an adult Due to all the fusion, your bones do this as a result Ligaments hold the ends of your bones together This is true when muscles attach to bones Structure in your life to help you live really long. Hello, I'm your skeleton.
I am a myocyte. Your muscles are made up of me. Here's some of the 650 muscles in the human body. We'll start with the deltoids that sit on the shoulders of your arms. There are three parts to your deltoid that I'll teach you with some charm. The interior fibers are on the front side of you, while the lateral fibers sit on the top of the shoulders. That's two. The third part's called posterior that sits on your back. All three make up your deltoid muscles. Now how about that? The next muscle we'll look at are the pectorals on your chest. There are two parts to this muscle that I hope you never rest. There's a pectoral minor which is connected to your ribs. Then the pectoral major, it makes your chest look really big. On the upper arm is your bicep, they help you lift heavy are made up of me. Here's some of the 650 muscles in the human body. Let's look at the abdominals that sit on your tummy. This is a pair of four muscles when flexed are very bumpy. Hey, there's the obliques. They keep your sides really strong. There is the internal oblique muscle that supports your abdomen. The external oblique muscle helps with your side bend. Let's look on your rear end. It's the largest muscle in your body. This is true, my friend. It keeps you standing upright and it helps you to ascend. The quadriceps are located on the front side of your thigh. There are four muscles that make up the quads that you do rely. The rectus femoris is the first muscle in line, while the vastus lateralis sits to the far outside. Vastus intermediate it's under the rectus and vastus medialis makes the fourth in your quadriceps I am a myocyte your muscles are made up of me here's some of the 650 muscles in the human body now let's focus on the hamstrings there are three muscles we'll see biceps femoris muscle is on the outside of the three the semitendinosus makes up the middle part well the semi are made up of me. Here's some of the 650 muscles in the human body. I'm your brain, part of the central nervous system. Your cranium's my home and if you want to learn then listen. I'm the boss of all the functions in your body. I weigh about three pounds, but I'm the leader of the party. The cerebrum controls your thinking and your muscles. It also stores all memories. Without it, you would struggle. The left cerebrum controls the right side of the body. And the right cerebrum controls the left, though it is tiny. The cerebellum controls your posture and your balance. The coordination of your movement is also its talent. It's located. You're crazy.
Cranium's my home and if you wanna learn then listen I'm the boss of all the functions in your body I weigh about three pounds but I'm the leader of the party We are your eyes We are your eyes Our jobs to see the world around you Your most important sensory organ times too Let's take a look into your eye to see of what they are comprised Then we'll learn about the roles that they do play the crystal clear transparent layer is called the cornea It lets us see the colored iris every day The black center in your iris is called your pupil Which brings us to the focus of your lens Then we travel through your vitreous humor It's a clear jelly-like tissue, my friends the retina makes up about 65% of the inside of your eye, you should know. Your optic nerve can be found at the back of your eye, onto the brain is where your nerve will go. We are your eyes. We are your eyes. Our job's to see the world around you. Your most important sensory organ times too. Some cool facts about your eyes They're about the same size as when you're born to When you're fully grown Your retina, it has millions of photoreceptors But you only have two types called rods and cones The rods are way more sensitive but cannot tell colors And are mostly used when light is really low your cones are mostly active in a higher light And can recognize all colors, now you know Your eyes each have six muscles to help move them around The superior and inferior oblique Then the medial and lateral rectus And superior and inferior rectus are not weak We are your eyes We are your eyes our job's to see the world around you Your most important sensory organ times too When the light enters your eyes Through the cornea it flies Then your iris decides what it should do If the light is really bright The iris closes real tight But if the light is dim It opens wide for you the iris regulates the pupil's light intake So you can see in day and also in low light Your lens stretches and retracts to focus what you're looking at So you can clearly see the objects around you Then the retina's rods and cones take the light impulses shown And sends it through the optic nerve to the brain the brain takes all that information and makes the final picture So take care of your eyes, please don't let them strain We are your eyes We are your eyes Our job's to see the world around you Your most important sensory organ times too Listen up, we're your ears We're here to show you how we function We hope you learn a lot and remember what you hear Let's take a look at your ears and what they're made of There's three parts of the human ear, they are all of the above First we have the outer ear, it consists of two parts The pinna and the ear canal, they're both a work of art Onto the middle ear and its parts of three The eardrum, the ossicles, and the cavity the oval window and the semicircle ducts, cochlea and auditory tubes are the inner ear parts. Listen up, we're your ears. 
We're here to show you how we function. We hope you learn a lot and remember what you hear. The smallest bones in your body are from the ossicles group. They are the hammer, anvil, and stirrup. We'll get to what they do. The semicircle canals are made up of three tubes filled with liquid endolymph. They look just like little loops. When your head is in motion, the liquid endolymph moves, triggering the little hairs called cilia that live in you. The cilia sends these motion signals to your brain. Then your brain knows how to balance you so you don't get a sprain. Listen up, we're your ears. We're here to show you how we function. We hope you learn a lot and remember what you hear. When sound waves are made, the pinner gathers them up and sends them through the ear canal to the eardrum's little cup. Then your eardrum vibrates and it strikes the hammer bone, which moves the anvil and the stirrup, which makes all that sound grow. The stirrup vibrates the liquid that fills your cochlea. The liquid moves all sorts of fibers, which vibrates more cilia. That cilia creates electric impulses that shoot through the cochlear nerve to the brain art your ears a hoop. Then the brain takes all that info and tells you what you heard. So please take care of your two ears so you can listen to our words. Listen up, we're your ears. We're here to show you how we function. We hope you learn a lot and remember what you hear. Can you smell what's in the air? That's a smell of knowledge. Listen to your nose and let me share. Let's start with the parts of the nose that you can see. The nasion, root, and bridge are the first parts of three. Then the ala, apex, nostril, and columella are parts of your nose, whether you're a girl or a fella. Now let's move on to the inner parts of your nose. The nasal bone supports the upper bridge. Now you know the upper lateral cartilage forms your side walls. The septal cartilage runs down the center and it's tall. The minor alar cartilage is not very big. The major alar cartilage has two parts seen in this ear fig. The accessory nasal cartilage sits on the side nose. Cartilage is flexible connective tissue I've exposed. Can you smell what's in the air? That's a smell of knowledge. Listen to your nose and let me share. The first of your five senses that to smell it is important to use this sense daily odor molecules are sniffed from the air into your nose most of the nasal cavity filters air while it does flow your olfactory epithelium's a little patch of skin its job is very large it detects odor molecules brought in when odor molecules reach the back of your nose they get stuck to a layer of mucus where they start to dissolve that's where they bind to the receptor cells then the signals made and sent through the olfactory tract well your brain receives the info and deciphers these signals and tells your body whether it is good or whether it should go can you smell what's in the air that's a smell of knowledge listen to your nose and let me share What's that taste? Well, it's your tongue, a muscular organ in everyone. I'm kind of rough with lots of bumps. I always work hard to get my job done. Your tongue is covered in a pink tissue called mucosa. Its main job is to protect deeper tissue when you gnaw. The rough parts of your tongue are called the lingual papillae. They are the small bumps that store taste buds so you enjoy food all day there are four different types of your tongue's papillae they're named the filiform foliate fungi form and circumvallate the venom is the tether of the front bottom of tongues that hold 
your tongue in place so your mouth can move freely while it runs. The back of your tongue is anchored by the hyoid bone. The tongue is vital for many things I will show. What's that taste? Well, it's your tongue, a muscular organ in everyone. I'm kind of rough with lots of bumps. I always work hard to get my job done. The muscles in your tongue are a few we will discuss. The style Ohio and Genio all end in Glossus. Then the Genio and style Ohio ideas. Learning these muscles of your tongue, yeah, it is a must. Your tongue's main job's to help you chew and swallow all your food. It also helps you speak all words to express your present mood. The common amount of taste that your tongue can recognize are the four. I will tell you it may come as a surprise. Sweet, sour, bitter, and salty are the four. But sometimes you taste a fifth called you mommy I adore. What's that taste? Well, it's your tongue. A muscular organ in everyone. I'm kind of rough with lots of bumps. I always work hard to get my job done. When you bite into your food, the chemicals from foods release and sinks into the taste papilla to the taste buds that run deep. Sensory cells transform chemicals into nerve signals that are sent into the brain through the nerve fibers they do go. When the signals reach your brain, that information is passed through your cranial nerves to the brain stem really fast. Your medulla oblongata takes all those signals and sends them to the limbic and cortical systems you should know. Perception and emotion are then formed for what you ate, then mixed with smells and texture, which create the this thing called taste. What's that taste? Well, it's your tongue, a muscular organ in everyone. I'm kind of rough with lots of bumps. I always work hard to get my job done. We're your teeth, we're your teeth, your digestive system star. We hope you listen well and you learn just who we are. When you're a newborn baby, you may have natal teeth. This only occurs in one in two to three thousand babies. A child's mouth has two rows of teeth on the bottom and the top. But you only see twenty before the adult teeth make the swap. You'll have thirty two adult teeth by the young age of thirteen. But there are only twenty.
I'm your heart I live inside of your chest I'm about the size of your fist And I never take a rest I'm your heart You couldn't live without me I pump the blood that fuels your body So take care of me please The human heart is made up of four major chambers in me The right atrium and right ventricle are the first two you see They receive blood that's low in oxygen from your whole body And sends it to your lungs through your pulmonary artery The lungs fill blood with oxygen that your left atrium receives And flows through the left ventricle to the aortic arteries I'm your heart I live inside of your chest I'm about the size of your fist And I never take a rest I'm your heart You couldn't live without me I pump the blood that fuels your body So take care of me please I can beat more than 100,000 times in one day Pumping about 2,000 gallons of blood through your body There is about 60,000 miles of vessels In your circulatory system I always keep them full I have four valves that open and close That control the blood through me The tricuspid, pulmonic, mitral and aortic valves You see, I'm your heart I live inside of your chest I'm about the size of your fist And I never take a rest I'm your heart You couldn't live without me I pump the blood that fuels your body So take care of me please We are your lungs we love to keep your body going We provide the oxygen to fuel your cells So they keep flowing We're your lungs Part of the respiratory system You can find us in your chest Keeping us healthy is your mission It starts in your mouth And in your nasal cavity When you take in a breath of air It fills your trachea, you see Your trachea is there To move the air that you breathe Into the bronchus in your lungs They look just like little trees small branches called bronchioles they guide the air through me which pulls it to these little sacks and they're called alveoli we are your lungs we love to keep your body going we provide the oxygen to fuel your cells so they keep flowing we're your lungs part of the respiratory system you can find us in your chest keeping us healthy is your mission the alveoli's job is to take oxygen from air and pass it through the walls of capillaries to blood cells in there they also take carbon dioxide off of your blood cells which travels through your respiratory system so you can feel well the right lung has an upper middle and a lower lobe the left lung only has the upper and the lower lobe you know we are your lungs we love to keep your body going we provide the oxygen to fuel your cells so they keep flowing we're your lungs part of the respiratory system you can find us in your chest keeping us healthy is your mission
helps your small intestine digest all the food that you will eat. I produce all of your bile, your gallbladder stores it up until food enters your system, then it secretes your bile ducts. The bile drops to break down fats from all the food you eat, so your small intestine can
sits to the left of your abdomen This is connected to the body Onto the neck it does extend The neck's attached to the head Which is the fourth main part that you see Which can be split into two parts As I explain the parts of me When you split up the head The head proper is what's on top Then the unsinnate process is at the bottom where it drops There are two main ducts in the pancreas You see the pancreatic duct and pancreatic I am your pancreas, I'm about six inches long I sit behind your stomach, across the back of your abdomen The two functions of your pancreas that perform day to day Are called the endocrine and exocrine to keep you all healthy Let's talk about the endocrine system in your pancreas It releases two main hormones from the eyelids of Langer hands Insulin and glucagon are the hormones that release they keep Real stable, so your cells have energy. Now, the exocrine system produces digestive enzymes through the pancreatic duct to the duodenum line. The job of the enzymes is to help digest all your food so it's easily absorbed by the small intestine in you. So, take care of your pancreas so it continues to work well, so your food keeps digesting and sends glucose to fuel your cells. Now I am your pancreas, I'm about six. Inches long, I sit behind your stomach across the back of your abdomen. I am your pancreas, I'm about six inches long. I sit behind your stomach across the back of your abdomen. We are not kidding, see, we are your kidneys. The upper abdominal is where we will be. The right and left kidney. All sorts of cool things you'll see Please pay close attention This lesson is free One fact about your kidneys Is we filter all your blood so free Through the nephrons There's about one million in each kidney Your kidney shape just like a bean It's about the size of the fist you see And its top is covered by your adrenal gland The adrenal gland's made of two parts A cortex and the medulla These parts produce certain hormones Your body needs the renal vein and artery are what bring blood to and from a sea They're attached to us right near where the ureters be Kidneys create hormones that tell the body to make more red blood cells They also regulate your liquids and nutrients real well We are not kidding, see, we are your kidneys The upper abdominal is where we will be The right and left kidneys do all sorts of cool things you'll see Please pay close attention this lesson is free! Dirty blood's pumped into kidneys through your renal arteries Which comes directly from your heart's aortic artery The blood then moves to your segmental and smaller arteries Which puts blood to be filtered by your nephrons that you see Your nephron job is to filter and expel waste from your blood Then that water waste is sent down to the renal medulla Collecting dark smooth wastewater to the renal papilla
journey with me Part of your digestive system in your tummy I be I am a 20 foot long hollow tube You see I absorb all of the nutrients that you will need Now your genome is your second segment That's where most of your food's nutrients is absorbed in its descent And though I'm shorter than your small I'm called your large intestine due to my expanded walls I'm made up of ten different parts all connected into one We'll start at the tip of your appendix attached to your cecum the next part of my tubular shape is the ascending colon Which leads to the hepatic flexure so you're learning in this song Your transverse colon runs across your entire abdomen Then turns at your splenic flexure onto the descending colon your curved as shaped sigmoid colon leads to your rectum Which is where your fecal matter meets your anus in your bum I am your large intestine Though I'm shorter than your small I'm called your large intestine due to my expanded walls let me tell you how I work and a little bit about me I'm only five feet in length but I'm wide which is why I'm called large C My most important job is absorbing water from your chime If I didn't perform this function you'd have loose stools all the time Millions of bacteria do live inside of me An important one is E. coli Its job is very key E. coli breaks down all the chum That your body can digest And produces vitamin K That regulates blood clotting at its best Another important job That your large intestine has to play yeah, it excretes all your waste to help your body stay healthy I am your large intestine Though I'm shorter than your small I'm called your large intestine Due to my expanded walls Thanks for watching Kids Learning Tube Please subscribe below and join us next week to learn more about everything.